All right. So remaining time, four hours, 50 minutes, roughly. That's charge time. Oh, charge time. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, to charge that. So if we were 120, that's what it would take four hours and 50 minutes. At 240 volt, at 60 amp, 40 minutes. Okay. And then that'll give us 133 kilometers. And then if I want, I can bulk it, which gives me an extra, it'll take me up to almost 200 kilometers. Okay, but, but that's, it's harder on your battery. Right. So you don't want to do that as often, only when you're going on a longer trip. So now to start it, press the brake, push your power button, we're active, and then uh, just uh, shift, put in the drive. Then you have your reverse neutral, and then this B for when you're going down a hill, you pull it back, and that engage your regenerative braking. Oh, I'll just yeah. switch back over to drive. Huh. That's clever to go downhill and gain some energy back. Even even right now I can do it. Instead of hitting the brakes, it'll yeah. just help me a bit more once I hit a certain speed. I'll let you drive also. Oh, I would love to, but right now I don't have a license. Oh. <laughs> when I uh, when I died on Canada Day, I got a heart implant uh, that uh, starts my heart again. And SGI doesn't let uh, someone who's had that implant uh, drive for six months. Just, you know, hedge their bet that I don't keel over in the middle of driving. So far I've been good, of course, and I'll get my license back, but for now it's a bit of a pain. Well, I'm going to let you anyway. Put it into the regenerative. It yeah. starts charging hard, eh? You can see it's going down. When I put it back in a drive and step on the accelerator, it goes up into the green and white. Uh -huh. So the more white it is, the more power we're drawing. The one thing that's the range. Oh, it went from 117 to 85 there. See, but this is a California car, so that's where they're made and they're sold. So they're not yeah, made. They're for not this thinking winter. of heater efficiency. No. Like uh, the things I'm gonna do to change this and make it more efficient is, uh, I, I got some pretty good good ideas what we need to do. We're recording again. We'll say nothing interesting, of course. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you, I had an amazing time driving all them, you know, I never got to drive David Suzuki, I got to drive his daughter. Okay, Severin, yeah. Yep, she was at the U of R a few years ago, too, oh, yeah. and gave a talk there. Oh, is it starting to snow, or is that just fog? It's leaves. It's, it's leaves. Well, an electric vehicle on Albert Street in October. Regina's being dragged into the future. Kicking and screaming. It's got no choice, it has to shift. Because that whole 85% <laughs> ethanol thing was a bit of a flop. As we name here, there's a sticker there, it doesn't focus. It wants to look at the. Uh... No, it doesn't work. Huh. It wants to look at the snow accumulating on the windshield. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great car, I'll tell you, man. I wish uh, you could get them anywhere here. That's your Yeah, there we go. I had to figure out how to flip that down. Sport and... Track. It's basically a RAV4. Yep, just the electric. Slide up here. Yeah, well, the guy I took for a drive, they have the RAV4. So when I told him I had the electric, and he just bought a big solar array from us too, so we're doing phase one right away, as soon as I get back from Cuba, and then uh, phase two is on his house for the electric car. Hmm. So he was gonna buy a Tesla charger, but the only thing with those is they're only for Tesla. You can't charge any other electric vehicle. Oh, are they like a different interface then? Yes. Oh, that's so, and that's what's that's the beauty about Sun Country Highway, is they can hook to Tesla, they can hook to anything out there, and it'll regulate the voltage it needs and or amperage, um, and that's the big thing. Um, what's really like in BC, they've shut, they were taught, they shut down the the rebate of five thousand dollars when you buy an electric vehicle because the sites weren't being used, the public sites. Mm -hmm. But the whole problem with that is when you're putting forty amp chargers. In a public location, 
where there's nothing around, who wants to go sit there for that long? You need something to sit and do like a coffee shop or exactly. uh, whatever. Or even put in a hundred amp, so at least when they're there a half hour, it's giving them something. Because mm -hmm. a hundred amp continuous, that's the thing you're getting, what these guys are putting in 40 and 60 amps, well really they're only 20 or 40 amp max. I think, I hope anyway, that the Tesla charger being an open, uh, like an open patent, mm -hmm. it isn't uh, restricted, that it will become a standard that everybody uses instead and then there won't be that issue of uh, beta versus VHS. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why Sun Country did what they have done, right? And made it universal. Yeah, which is the next best thing. And if it's more universal catering to even the uh, major automotive companies, then maybe it will catch on before and Tesla will be out of luck to some degree and right. have to adapt their technology yeah. for their old <laughs> old Model S. Right. Well, uh, and that, that's the thing. Uh, like, uh, Sun Country's got the Model S, the D, the Roadster, and uh, you can't just hook into anything. But I know the Tesla charger is set up where you can change it from 40 up to 100. So they do have that interface where you can tone it down. But any Tesla, it's 100 amp. You don't want to charge any less. Hmm. Otherwise, you know, it takes forever. And 100 amp, uh, it's 2.3 hours. And if you bulk it, you're looking at about 3.25. And that's a $6 charge to get 300 kilometers. Six bucks for 300 kilometers? Which, uh, on gasoline, if would it's... be $40, 50 bucks. In my truck, it would be $75 to $80. Yeah, so by people paying a bit more up front for an electric vehicle, you're basically prepaying for all of your trips. <laughs> well, that's like the Via Motor truck. It's a hybrid truck. People are, you know, they're $90,000, $100,000. Okay, well, you look at your standard truck. They're sixty to 70000 So by the time you've done your first 50,000 kilometers on the Via truck... You would have made your year's payments and your gas are right there. It's done. In the, your, your normal standard truck, you still got that gas payment every month. Yeah, and it's better for the environment, especially if you're charging off a renewable yep. instead of the SAS Power Coal. That's right. And then you also, in emergency situations, you have a 150 kilowatt generator built right into your truck. Yeah, oh, we can, yeah. oh, what the hell, you can. Oh, what was that one? Shoot. That's okay. Oh, yeah. We'll go around, get to see more of the neighborhood. Yes. thinking of everything else <laughs> changing the world etc well at least we're doing this with zero emission yes cruising isn't quite as bad no and uh, that's the thing a lot of these guys and places that are doing these chargers right now they're it's free and any PV Mart in Canada it's free charging um, you know a lot of these hotels uh, the best Western they are going to the Via van, the 18 passenger cargo van. Uh, the Delta Regina has a charging. They're putting in their second one. It's it's changing, and there's nothing anybody can do to stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't say it that way. Well, there's people that'll they'll try. They'll try. But you know what? The movements here and people are aware. It was funny. I met the first two guys who ever drove the first EV1 across the U.S. and into Canada. Mm -hmm. That was something amazing. Was that a yeah. few months ago, or? Uh, no, no. Like the EV1, uh, like back in the '80s. Oh, okay. They they drove it across the U.S. and into Canada, which I never knew it ever made it to Canada. Yeah, I never heard that. But yeah, they were Dave and Dave. Very <laughs> <laughs> Daryl and Daryl. Yeah, had no problem remembering their names. <laughs> Oh, and even by the Mr. Policeman. Oh, there's a lot of them here today. No skateboarding. They don't say no electric vehicles, so we should be good. Yeah. Okay, back to video so we can totally censor ourselves now. <laughs> we should have called ahead and now offered the premier a ride around. Well, that's coming. I know uh, Brad Wall went for a ride. Yeah, 
Can you tell that it's almost winter with the amount of dirt on the car? Oh, that's okay. I got everything everything I need to see there. I should move the seat back. I am a tall person. And it started. That was loud. <laughs> Actually, we're doing my 53 Chevy. We're going to electrify it next year. Oh, no, awesome. Yeah, I wonder how uh, it's going to be, instead of seeing the cars lined up along here in the uh, legislative uh, parking lot, instead of it being uh, muscle cars, it'll be muscle electric cars. Yeah. Well, we're going to make that one 800 horse. Because uh, I want to take it to the drag strip and just crush everybody. <laughs> well, and I know I'm, I'm surprised that motorcyclists haven't uh, caught on yet to the uh, benefits of having an electric bike. And it's it's like where where's the electric motorcycles now? Yeah, there's a Prius, but not a plug-in Prius. Yeah. Okay, so to so I guess charge I'll, uh, the, one of these, you've already pushed yeah. the button inside to open that cap. This is a, a 90 amp charger, so it'll do 90 amp continuously. This car can only handle 60, so it'll choke itself down to the 60 amp. So once it's, you pop that open, come and grab your wand. That's the end of it there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the release? Yep. Then all you do is you... Then it'll start. Now if you're like on the highway somewhere and you pull into a farmer's yard, etc. Do you have an adapter so that you can plug this into the wall? Okay. So that just but goes in the wall and... This'll take a long time. Yeah. <laughs> this will only do 25 amps, so yeah. you're looking at a 14-hour charge versus a 3-hour charge. Okay, and a fully charge, it costs about what in electricity? This one here? In Saskatchewan prices, like 13 cents a kilowatt. For that Tesla there, it's about $6. This one here is around a dollar and change to fill it. Okay. So cost me about two twenty-five to go from Saskatoon to Regina in electricity at, at eleven cents per kilometer. So the range is over three hundred kilometers. In this one here, uh, it's one hundred and fifty kilometers per charge. So oh, okay, so you have to charge midway. Yeah, Davidson. I got one there at the Napa Auto Parts in Davidson. Okay. Uh, they have a sixty amp charger there, continuous a forty-eight amp. So it it takes a little longer than this one, but. We got to start somewhere. When they came out with the Model Ts, there wasn't a gas station everywhere. You know, they're, we're pioneering the electrical industry in, in Canada. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a learning curve for everybody, especially our climate. Uh, <laughs> this time of year, it makes uh, a big difference. Yeah, it's, do you turn on the heater and reduce your range, or do you just uh, well, it, address a bit warmly? And right, uh, and right now, that's the issue, right? Because not too many charging stations are in. Once it becomes more and more, it won't matter. Turn your heat on, pull in, everybody will have a 100 amp charging station. You can go town to town. So, and, and things will become more and more efficient. Mm -hmm. And then now to shut this off, if say we are charging and weren't quite full, like right now we're not full, we just hit the stop. We watch for the two little lights to blink. That means it's safe to unplug it now. So you just hit your trigger release. Pull it away, do your maintenance and uh, tidiness. Okay, finished. <laughs>